This is the Redmi Note 12 4G and this is probably one of the best phones you can buy for around 200 euros. So we're going to take a look at it. Starting off with probably one of the best features, this phone is 120Hz, 1440p, AMOLED and 1200 nits max brightness. And screen this phone pretty much beats like any other phone for around 200 euros. Like being able to fit that kind of technology onto a device that costs 200 euros is really impressive. Do bear in mind though that the 120Hz is not enabled when you actually get the phone. If you go into settings and enable it, I think base is set to like 60. The OLED panel on the phone is definitely a really nice upgrade. Now the, the, the difference between OLED and LCD isn't necessarily visible during daytime, but nighttime it is really visible. Why? Because OLED is pretty much like way better blacks. If you compare OLED to LCD, LCD is kind of like a whitish black, while OLED is like black to the point where your phone's pretty much off. The AMOLED is simple and crisp, thanks to its 1440p display. You get like a select few images while you get to choose, I think they're animated too. But you also get to do is select the image from your gallery. So let's say you want to take a picture of a mountain, put the mountain as the AMOLED display, you can also do that. Moving on to the design of the phone, the screen size is 6.67 inches, which is probably like near like the max you should go on a phone. Because if you end up reaching like 7 inches, 7.2, the phone's just like really big. The phone has two side buttons, the volume slider and the power button which is also used for fingerprint ID. Now I think this is a really good thing to use, instead of you seeing other phones having like the fingerprint ID at like the back of the phone, that's just like really ugly because there's a circle there and it's not really aesthetically pleasing. One thing I do hate though is the fact that the earphone jack is at the top of the phone, which is kind of confusing because if it's top of the phone, you're going to have like this like sag with this wire that's constantly attached to your phone that's going to pull the earphone out of your ear. So ideally it will want to be on the bottom of the phone, simply because then it's just routed like that and then it's just like holding your phone naturally. Next is the hardware. The CPU is a Snapdragon 685. This is the Octa CPU and has a base clock speed of no max clock speed of 2.8 gigahertz. This is also 6 nanometer and nanometer is very important on portable devices because that's how energy efficient it is. Like the smaller the nanometer you go on devices tends to be like how energy efficient it is. The RAM has three variants. There's a 4 gigabyte, 6 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte. If you're an average consumer, 4 gigabytes of RAM will do absolutely just fine. If you wanted more RAM, you can dedicate actual storage on the phone to RAM if you go into the settings. You can have like 4 gigabytes of RAM and 3 gigabytes of RAM on storage. This phone also has 120 gigabytes of storage and this is like average in most phones. If you go above that, that's simply because the camera takes pieces of, fo of photos that's such high quality, it just drains to your storage. But if you do take a lot of pictures, then this phone is actually upgradable to 1 terabyte if you get an SD card. In terms of connectivity, this phone is 4G, not 5G. Now, if you're an average person, you're not really going to see the difference between 4G and 5G. Really, that's only noticeable if you're downloading stuff off the internet. But even at that, not really, people don't really download stuff over mobile data because it just drains their data really fast. And really, 5G phones have less hardware than their 4G counterparts. Like, you do see it like a downgraded battery by, like, I think it's like a bit, and you'll see two less megapixels on the camera. Now for the battery and charging, Xiaomi are really good at charging, like if you have any Xiaomi phone, it will charge pretty fast, like this thing has 33 watts fast charging, and it charges your phone like 50 to an hour. The battery capacity is also 50 milliamp, which is average in literally every single device you see. Last is the camera, this phone has three cameras, a 50 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 picture macro camera. All photos you see in this video are taken by the Redmi Note 12 4G, and so is this thing also recorded by the Redmi Note 12 4G. This camera also shoots in 720p 30fps, which I'm a bit disappointed about, I was really expected to at least shoot like 720p 60. This thing also shoots in 1080p 30, which I mean is kind of right for average people, but if you want to use this phone for like photography, videos and stuff, you'd want to have 60. What is a disappointment on the camera side thing is that there's no real like pro video, there's only pro camera. So you can't really change like the saturation, ISO, or like light levels of the video, you can only do it on photo. For an average person doing average stuff, going on the internet, watching Netflix, watching YouTube videos, this phone is really good, especially with AMOLED display. And 1440p is also like really, really good. But for 200 euros, you should probably consider getting this phone.